ovo je uh, vaš igrani debi na filmu, tako, vaša prva uloga. Uh, da li je bio casting, pa ste vi ulogu dobili na castingu ili kako ste zapravo dobili ulogu? Uh, znači, uh, when I was still studying in high school, um, Uh, the casting director of this film came to my school. Um, I thought I, I could try it. I mean, I've never done such a thing. I never went for a, to casting. And then also I had a literature lesson and I wasn't really into going to it. So even more. I just uh, went there and um, it felt great. It was a new experience for me, but I never ever would imagine that uh, I would have the role. So, and then uh, it was almost a year until they said, yeah, Alina, you're the one for this role. And I was, I finished high school and I started studying in the academy and only then, yeah, they said yes. Izvolite, kolegi imali pitanja, možete za našu gošću. Aleksandar Rajić radi u sad. Najprej čestitke na ulozi, u svakoj uh, sceni vidi se koliko je Raja uh, hrabra i jedna žena. Mene zanima da li ste ranije imali iskustva sa životom na selu, u filmu Farbate voće, ne znam, kopa, pere veš na ruke, da li je to neko novo iskustvo bilo? So, no, actually I had, I had my grandparents living in the countryside in Latvia. Also, uh, When I was eight, me and my parents, uh, well, my parents decided that they want to move away from Riga, the capital of Latvia, to live in the countryside. So I lived there, but uh, for a few years. My parents are still living there, but uh, as I uh, wanted to, I finished high school and I want to start studying, I returned back to, to, to town, to city, Riga. Um, Yes, I'm familiar with the countryside living, but you know what I'm familiar with and what Ryan's living through is like a whole different story. And um, we share, me and Ryan, this character, we share some common characteristics. But the way that we, I and her grow up, it's totally different. And, um, and uh, you know, for me to understand how it is to live like this, like Raya lives, in such conditions was quite difficult until we started shooting. And once I got, uh, I got to see all this uh, shooting um, locations. Somehow this feeling came to me naturally, you know, how it, what it means to live in such conditions. And, uh, yeah. Da li su snovi bili u bioskopu u Letoniji i šta vam kažu vaše kolege sa akademije u ulozi? Yes, um, we had a um, premiere in Latvia on uh, February, right after Berlinale. And, um, you know, um, I guess... Uh, They were showing it, showing the film, for a very long time because, for the most part, all Latvian films are screened uh, in the cinema theaters for like three months maximum. But uh, in one theater we had this 100 uh, screening, and we and it felt like uh, being again there. Like the feeling was the same as in um, premiere. I just went inside. Uh, theater and I was, wow, because I, I just can, you know, it's, in February when the film was premiered, it was, I was living in it, all this, and, and month after month, I just somehow forgot about it and how it feels to, to do, to answer these questions and 
what are my answers are. And, uh, and then, all of a sudden, I just realized that the film, uh, it's right there, screening in the, and, and there still are people coming and watching it. I thought it's already like done, I didn't know that, so yeah. Um, and we also um, were traveling around Latvia and uh, screened a film in uh, little towns and villages and, and, and did the Q&A afterwards, the screenings. And people really came and... and, and well, Latvians are quite shy and, and don't want to uh, ask any questions. But uh, somehow, yeah, you know, talking with the people and and word after word they open and they ask and because I assume it um, it's a harmful subject for Latvians because almost everyone has a friend or family member or a colleague that left Latvia to work abroad so it, it really touched people in a, like a deep, deeply way, yeah.